Hey, good morning, everybody. I've had my uh, 24 count NeoPixel ring from Adafruit for a few days now, and I've been playing around trying to write some two color Christmas animations. So I thought I would uh, give you a look at them. Um, this is the whole thing all put together. There are one, two, three, four, five separate animations in this, and then I'll show you each one individually. These things are really simple to write to. I'm using the Adafruit library. And mostly what I'm using is the pixels set pixel color command and a whole bunch of for loops. But um, I've only been concentrating on the red and green. Like I said, these are uh, Christmas themed animations. So that's pretty much the whole thing. There's the first one, the second one, the third, which is uh, kind of a harsh fade. I was hoping for something a little softer. I have to have to work on my fade techniques. Now I know that uh, there are a lot of example techniques in the library, but I was trying to figure these out on my own. So I didn't want to just outright copy Lady Ada's work. All right, now I'll show you the individual ones. All right, this is the first one, and I just call it Christmas One Animation. And it is simply um, four, four loops. First the reds, then the greens, then the wipes. Nothing to it. All right, the second one is the red and green chaser. And writing that one is two four loops. Again, uh, well, there's, not, there's nothing really complicated in this at all. All right, this is my Christmas fade. It fades red from zero up to 50. Now, granted, we can go up to 255 light output on these, but uh, that's just too bright for me. And then from green, green goes from 50 back down, but I think I might bump up the starting value of the green to make it... Uh, a little more comparable to the light output of the red. Two four loops here, that's okay, all Coming up going now on. is my Christmas fade, or is that called Christmas fade? No, Christmas fill. And this involves three four loops, one to write the reds, one to write the greens, and one to wipe them all out. Again, pretty simple, nothing to write home about, but it's fun to write them. All right, the last one I call half and half, as you can understand why. Uh, two for loops. It writes the green and the red before it does uh, the display show pixels so that they occur at the same time. That's what's really nice about having the buffer like this. You can set all the pixels, the brightness and color you want, and then call the write out. So that's it. Just a quick little video to show you guys how I've been doing on the uh, NeoPixel animations. This thing's a lot of fun to play with. Um, if you're interested in these animations, I will make them available on GitHub. The information will be in the uh, description below. If you like, please uh, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate if you did, trying to grow the channel here. Merry Christmas.